Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, today I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different. I'm transforming myself into an e-girl. Now what exactly is an e-girl? I'm 30, I don't know. I'm not on TikTok, so I really do not know. I've seen some pictures, I pulled some inspiration. They have a lot of blush, like literally across their entire face. Freckles, very strong eyeliner and huge dark black wings. And then like pink, it's a lot of pink, okay? Just, just a lot of pink. I'm surprised I haven't done a look like this yet simply because I'm a pinky kind of girl. But you know, there's a first time for everything. And we're gonna go from basic B to e-girl? I guess just e-girl? I, I was hoping that that was gonna sound more magical than it really did. You know, in my head, it sounded differently, but in person, it just, it sounded stupid. Let's go ahead and get into the look. Now to start off with, uh, I'm just gonna use primer. I mean, I don't think there's like a specific e-girl primer. I'm just gonna prime like I normally do with my gel grown alchemist. I love this stuff. It's something about that gel over your skin. It just feels really nice. And this one has like a cooling sensation to go along with it. So that's an extra nice. As you guys can see, your girl got her hair done. My homegirl hooked me up. I love box braids. I just, I absolutely love getting box braids. It's a way for me to not have to do my hair. The least amount of work possible. Those are my favorite hairstyles. Obviously, Fancy. Okay, y'all know I'm a fancy girl. Oh, snap. I didn't wet my sponge. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go wet my sponge. So to be honest, all my complexion stuff is really gonna be the same. I did not purchase the e-girl uniform, you know, the, the striped shirt with the dark black. I mean, I have a dark black shirt on, but I don't have like a black and white striped shirt. Oh, so I'm gonna just wear something that I think is e-girl adjacent. Gotta get up in the hairline. I hated my dang blasted choices for my boxy charm. My choices were terrible. There were so many things on there that I was just like, eh, not interested in. You know when it's a good choice day when you're just like, oh my God, I want this, I want this, I want this. And you're struggling to figure out which one you're gonna choose because you want to choose them all. You know, gotta catch them all, Ash Ketchup. But it's a whole nother thing when you can't choose because you literally don't want any of the stuff that's on there. I really wanted to get the Lunar Beauty palette. I mean, I could have did it add-on, you know? I could have added it on, but I wanted it to just come in my box. I didn't want to have to pay extra to get it. I wanted it to just come to me, okay? Come to mom. Alas, it was not in the cards. I'm just gonna have to live with that. Maybe it'll be in one of the mystery boxes or mystery bags at some point. I highly doubt it. You know, a girl can hope. I'm so curious as to who the icon box is gonna be curated by next month in May, because May is the next icon box. I'm very curious to see who is going to be curating that box. And if it's somebody I trust, then I will get the icon box. But if not, I will skip, okay? I will skip and save my monies. Hopefully they got somebody cool. I finally got my license because I haven't had a license in like eight months or something like that. And I finally got my license because, you know, I really wasn't driving that much. Justin was literally driving me everywhere. It finally came in the mail and my picture is horrendous. I literally look like a duck. I, I just, I wish the ladies, you know, the lady that did my photo, she could have been like, sis, take that picture again and don't do your face like that. Like she could have done me a solid. Like if I worked a job like that, that would be the main thing I do. Girl, retake that picture. That picture ain't it. But she just let me take that duck face picture and then she put it on my ID. I'm like, dang, you ain't a real one. A real one would have told your girl to retake that picture. I didn't even get to look at it before she sent it off. I should have asked, you know, closed mouths don't get that. At the same time, she said I had my back. All right, we're nice and blended. I am gonna go a little bit lighter with the powder. I did that a few times where I just went a little bit lighter with the powder and I think it looked better. Remember in the 2010s? Remember in the 2010s? Twins, what are words? Remember in the 2010s, everyone had like massive like powder, you know, you had to do the big baking underneath and you got I'm so glad people aren't doing that anymore. It's just a waste of product. You don't, you don't need all that, okay? I'm here to tell you, you don't need all that. Less is more. And that's one thing I really like about the 2020 makeup vibe is that everyone's putting on way less and going for a more natural kind of look. I am going to use my cute little, well, hey, little, big old brush. Use my cute brush to kind of dust away anything that ain't supposed to be there. I love this thing. It's so nice. I'm going to go ahead and use my Estates bronzer. Love this brush. So luxurious. All right, now that we're bronze, we are going to move on to the first part that actually makes this an e-girl look. 
and that is the blush. I am gonna go with the She Glam Love Dye, which is in this very vibrant kind of color. I really didn't have anything that was like a true, true pink. So I'm gonna try this one out. If it doesn't look right, I might have to go in to an eyeshadow palette and use that pink. Hopefully this will give the effect that we're looking for. You now they really put their blush right up in there and they actually put a lot on their nose. I'm just gonna like put that all over that area. Just, just a ton of blush. I don't know, I keep doing that mouth thing. It's so ugly. Is that pink enough? I think that's pink enough. That might be a little too pink. I might've went a little overboard, but maybe I didn't. I don't know, I'm not you, girl, I don't know. I'm cosplaying. We're gonna highlight, highlight, highlight. I'm actually gonna use my little finger and this is the ZC and they put a lot on their nose a lot and they put a lot on their cheeks. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's highlighted. I couldn't see it at first, but now I can see it. We're extra highlighted. Very Rudolph. Okay, well, we're not going for Rudolph, but we're very Rudolph today. All right, we gotta pull off the big guns, okay? The big gun is Anastasia, Bev Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly Hills or Anastasia. I don't know, okay? It's one of the two. We're gonna use the pomade because the pomade gives us very dramatic eyebrows and all the e-girls I saw had very dramatic eyebrows. So we're gonna have very dramatic eyebrows. But I need you to come a little closer, okay? Just a little bit closer. We're acquainted, okay? I don't show y'all my visitors, which I'm gonna start calling them squatters now because I didn't invite them. All my little pimples that I get, you got a squatter right there, okay? Got a squatter right there. That squatter is on her way out. Still squatting just a little bit. We're gonna start calling them squatters. Y'all, Wish comes out on Disney Plus today and I am so excited to watch that with Bella. I love all the little Disney princess movies. I'm a girl's girl, so I love the Disney princess movies. Everyone says that this one is terrible because they think it was written by AI. If that's true, then that's stupid. Because AI, I work with AI and it is nowhere near as creative as actual humans, okay? AI is not as creative. They were gonna use AI to do the whole movie, then it's probably gonna be trash. But if not, and people are just saying that to like stir up controversy and just be extra, the movie will probably be good, but we'll see. I am gonna live stream tonight, which this video is gonna go up way after I actually live stream. So look for the card. It's either gonna be on this side or this side of the live stream if you wanna rewatch it. Gonna play me some Fortnite. Okay, I'm gonna fort some nights. Hopefully get a W. That's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for Ws. We win. Hopefully Justin will play with me today. I should make Justin take me out to eat looking like an e-girl. Embarrass him. It might not be embarrassing. This might be a look. I miss having my eyebrows micro shaded because then it's like I really didn't have to do much work. That's as good as that's gonna get. If it looks crazy, then that's just gonna be what it is. Don't be crazy. All the e-girls I saw had freckles, okay? They they put the freckles on, but I think it would actually be kind of cute to use glitter as my freckles. One, because I don't know how to draw on freckles. I don't have like a little freckle thing. And two, I need to use these because I have them. I might as well use them. Let's see, let me try to make it sparse. Now we have freckles, unconventional freckles. But I think it's cute. I think it's different. It's a little bit easier for me. Now, the e-girls that I saw usually had like really pretty pinky kind of eye look. So we're gonna do a really pinky, pinky kind of eye look. I have two eyeshadow palettes here. One is the uh, Berries and Cream Dreams by, who is this by? Violet Voss. I have this one. I got this in like a mystery Ipsy. And then I also have the Give Me More. I'm gonna go into Blushing Berry right here. I'm gonna dip into her and use her as the transition shade. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that's very, very, very pink. Y'all, they already shipped my P. Louise box, which is wild to me. <laughs> Usually I don't get shipping or tracking information about it until like the 15th of the month. So everything is going out really, really early this month, which is really cool. I've got my Macy box, Macy. I've got my Macy's box. So I'm gonna be opening that today. Where's my little brushy brush that brushes? Going into my Gimme More palette, I'm gonna get this pink right here. I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Okay, all over the eyelid. This color builds really well. I'm gonna sweep this pink underneath my eye as well. The e-girls that I saw had like a really pretty inner corner highlight and their inner corner highlight was a beaming white. That's what we're gonna do. I'm going to dip into my ZC and use that as my inner corner. The 
see if it'll give me the beaming look that I'm wanting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the stuff. I'm gonna extend that underneath my eye as well. Am I e-girling it up? Do I look like an e-girl? Uh, not quite, because e-girls have very, very exaggerated eyeliner. I'm gonna line underneath my eyes. I love how that just like deepens up the look. That gives drama. I'm gonna bust out my Pat McGrath, cause, because I don't want no problems, okay? I don't want no problems while I'm doing this humongous wing of a line. So I'm actually gonna, actually, I'm gonna do this side first, cause I always jack this side up. We're gonna make this as dramatic possible. Is that big enough? I feel like that's not big enough. I think that's big enough. We'll see. Yeah, I always jack this side up. They're not twins at all. I think that's as good as that's gonna get. I tried my best. Now, I'm gonna do something I haven't done on this channel ever. I'm gonna put on some eyelashes. Will I put them on correctly? I have no idea. I haven't put on eyelashes in forever. It says to measure and trim them. Uh, that's a lot of work that I'm not feeling like doing. I'm not trimming. This is a little liner thing that comes with it. And I'm guessing I'm just gonna look like that, so. I don't have the little thingy mabobber to carefully put it on like so. So I'm gonna try to do this the best I can with my little hand. So I guess you just put this on like that. Am I supposed to put it right on my eye? Hopefully I don't go blind. I'm gonna put this on here too. Oh, I didn't shake it. Forgot to shake it. That was one of the steps. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, dude. I hate putting on eyelashes so much. Like I hate it. I think I did it. <laughs> Success on one eye. Let's see if I can do it on the other eye. I remember like back in the day that he said we'll be white and it would just look really weird. Just very ugly and weird. I feel like I'm not getting any glue on here. Maybe I am and I just can't see it. Hopefully this will go down as easily as the other side did. Ugh, get so much anxiety. I got lashes on. <laughs> that looks weird and it feels just as weird as it looks. Next, I'm gonna use my magic extension. I'm gonna just try to blend. Wait, is that lifting? Bruh, is it already lifting? Okay, I'm just not gonna put a lot of pressure on these eyelashes. Hopefully they don't come flying off with uh, the air conditioner breeze. Eyelashes make me feel so insecure. That's as good as that's gonna get. Now, they usually do have really exact exaggerated lower lash lines. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm so hard not to poke myself in the eye. I think that looks good. If I had like a white eyeliner, I would have did my waterline because that would have really made this look pop. I don't have one, so we're not doing that. But I think this actually looks really cute. I'm kind of blown away. I think this is a look. I'm not sure if the blush is beaming enough. I might try a little thing. Okay, I might try a little thing. I'm gonna dip into this, this pink right here and see if I can just kind of make that a little bit more noticeable. Oh yeah, that's better. Now we really look like a girl. That's a look. <laughs> Am I gonna do my makeup like this like every day now? Well, not the eyelashes. The eyelashes is a hell no. That's just too much work be doing for some eyelashes. I'm a just, I'm a natural lash kind of girl. I'm actually, actually, I hate saying actually, stop saying actually. I'm going to get my eyeliner wherever it is, it's right here. And I'm gonna try to draw a little heart on my cheek because they have little hearts and I wanna have a little heart. Hopefully I don't mess up the look that I just spent all this time working on. I'm gonna just fill this in with this one. I think theirs are typically like much smaller than this. Ooh, are we an e-girl now? Is it official? Does it even look like a heart? It kind of looks like a heart. I don't know. That's as good as that's gonna get, okay? If you want something better, go to an official e-girl that knows what she's doing because I don't know what I'm doing. Everything else is so bold that I don't want a bold lip, okay? I want something that's more simple. So I'm just gonna use my She Glam, put the lips in line. I'm actually gonna use the other end of the She Glam. Like I've never actually used it. I've, I've used the liner, but I've never actually, actually, uh, I've never used the lippy on the other side. So we're gonna give that a try. Really didn't get much of a color payoff, but that could be because I had lip oil on my lips. So I guess because my lips are so slick, it just won't grab onto the pigments. I don't know. I completely forgot to spray. So I'm gonna spray now. We're not fully giving e-girl. I'm gonna put on something that's a little bit more e-girl. Okay, it's not full blown e-girl, it's e-girl adjacent. And I'll be right back with the finished look. Now this is more e-girl, I think. Obviously I don't have the striped shirt underneath, but I think this is, I think this is a look. Ooh, do I actually like this? Uh, maybe not this. I probably won't draw like a heart on my face, but I might do like a crazy blush and then like the pink. I think the pink is absolutely stunning. I think this is a whole look. What is it that they do?
I don't know, why do I feel super girly and like giddy? I don't, I don't get this. This is the final e-girl look. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And did I, did I pull off the whole e-girl aesthetic or do I just look like some 30 year old woman trying too hard? If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.